In this testing video, we're going to use the TIS Eco MFT tester. And yes, and when I say Eco, it means it is reasonably priced. However, it's got some fantastic features. And the one I want to highlight to you in this video is the two wire no trip earth fault loop impedance test. So maybe we're at a light switch where there is no neutral and there is RCD protection offered on the circuit. We're going to use true RMS. So let's unpack that just a little bit. True RMS means that we're going to get a more accurate reading when carrying out that earth fault loop impedance test. And by not having the neutral, we know we've had to drop the current down in order to carry the test so we don't trip the RCD out. And as it's a live test, I'd love to show it to Rick, so that means I need to find him. Rick, where are you? Hang on, Gaz. I thought if we were carrying out the earth fault loop impedance test on a radial circuit, it was to be carried out at the furthest point. Yeah, you're absolutely right. However, this is part of an electrical installation condition report. And on page one, which you've got down there, in section D, it says extent and limitations of the inspection and testing. And it says agreed with, and that's the client's gone in there. So we've had a conversation, in this case it's with ourselves because we're down here at Lineside Studios, that we don't want to move everything out of this area in order to bring in, say, a scissor lift, which means we can get access to the furthest point, which is up there at the light. Oh, well, that makes sense. I mean, we're down at VG Laseco, and obviously they're, they're a company that run 24-7. Yeah. Uh, so getting to their high base would be a real nightmare. It would, but it's agreed in advance, so we're going to carry out the test at that light switch. Anyway, let's have a look at what confectioneries we've got today. We've got the salted caramel tea cakes. Mm. Would you like one? Yeah, I would. It looks like you've uh, you've plundered all the top row because it says there's 16 in there and I've only got eight left. Ah, uh, it's garden. So let's set up our TIS eco tester in order to perform this loop test. So if we turn it on and we're going to scroll down to the appropriate section here where we can do our loop impedance test. And I've already set it up to no trip two wire however it might be that you didn't want that test it's just a simple case of scrolling through you might be testing between line and neutral line and protective conductor i'm on the no trip section there it might be that you had a neutral in the switch say and therefore you could do the three wire test so i could have selected that one but we have no neutral so we are doing this two wire test across here we can select the parameters of the actual device itself so we've got the fuse here we're actually using the mcb it is actually a type B and rated at six amps. So back to this screen and now we're ready to carry out the test. Now it might be that you can't think where your leads and probes are gonna go and you could do with some additional help. So press this button here and you can see that I've got all three of my probes in the top, but actually two of them, the one out of four and three, which in this case are blue and green, are joined together to give us one of the test probes and I've used my tip commander on the other one. And what I like about using the tip commander, especially on live tests, is I can concentrate with holding my hands on both probes and I haven't got to release one of them in order to press the test button to carry out that test. Come out the help screen and we're now ready to perform the test. I'm gonna connect onto my protective conductor in the back of the enclosure and then onto my line connection. And once I'm comfortable that I've connected, I press my test button and it will carry out the uh, fault loop impedance test. Now that two wire, true RMS so we will get a very accurate reading when we have no neutral in order that we don't trip the RCD we're using a lesser testing current and our impedance will appear on the screen in a few moments time so we're looking at the section there that says ohms and when that appears that will be the reading that we record for the circuit of 0 0.22 ohms for the impedance of that circuit. Is this the test you often carry out? Does your test instrument allow you to do true RMS? I'd love your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. However, we've been working live here, and it may be that live working is something you want to brush up on and your safe isolation procedure. And if that's the case, check out the video over there.